This coming June, it will be a crazy month for Nike and Tom Sachs fan. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Derek, this channel is Soul for Kicks where we discover streetwear, sneakers, and art collectibles. In today's video, we will review the Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe or the GPS. I will talk about the details, sizing, where to buy, and is it worth it. Also, later in this video, I will show you three sneakers that have a similar look to the Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe or the GPS. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And for the returning viewers, welcome back. Thank you guys for all the support. On June 10, 2022, we will get a chance to purchase the Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe or the GPS. Very creative and simple way to name the shoe with a tech vibe, GPS General Purpose Shoe. By the way, Nike and Tom Sachs released fire and expensive sneakers. But before showing those sneakers, let us step back and give you a short intro about Tom Sachs. So Tom Sachs is an American sculpture best known for his elaborate bright college recreation of various modern icons. The theme central to his universe focus on American culture and society which he treats with a heavy dose of humor and irony. Sachs was born in 1966 in New York where he lives and works. He studied at the Architectural Association London in 1987 and graduated from Bennington College Vermont in 1989. Now let me show you what sneakers that Tom Sachs and Nike release. I think there are three sneakers that they release. First, we have the Nike Craft Mars Yard Shoe 1.0 Tom Sachs Space Camp release last 2012 with a resale price of around 14,000 to 20,000 US dollars with limited sizes in stock X. Second, they released the Nike Craft Mars Yard Shoe 2.0 Tom Sachs Space Camp release last 2017 with a resale price of around 6,000 to 20,000 US dollars with limited sizes in stock X. Third, in 2019, they released the Nike Mars Yard Overshoe with a resale price of around 500 to 800 US dollars. So those are the three sneakers that Nike and Tom Sachs release. Now let's go back to the Tom Sachs and Nike General Purpose Shoe. They will release it on June 10, 2022. It will release on this website, nikecraft.com. When you go to the website, you can find a nice ad about the sneakers. Let me read it. Boring. Your sneakers shouldn't be the most exciting thing about you. They are tools. And what matters about your tools is that they work. They do their job so you can do yours. You can put them on and forget about them. You focus on getting a little bit faster, a little bit sharper on finding the signal in the noise. It took us 10 years to make a sneaker this simple, as simple as can be and no simpler. A do more sneaker, an own less sneaker, a show up, prove it, whole life, be you sneaker. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. The Nike Craft General Purpose Shoe, $109.99, available on June 10 at nikecraft.com. Let's now talk about the design and construction of these sneakers. For me, overall, the design of these sneakers are fire. One thing that stands out on these sneakers is the tongue with Tom Sachs signature with handwritten text on it. For me, this is a nice touch on the sneakers, very personal approach. Moving to the outer sole, it's made up of multi-layered sole, durable rubber outsole, soft rubber midsole and EVA foam core. Also, they showed an image of a sneakers beat up. I really like how it looks when it's overused. The dirt, scratch, scuffs, stains and smudges on the sneakers look fire. I'm happy that they use thick soles. It will take time to burn that outer sole plus it has the thick grooves to increase the friction and give a good grip. Also, they still have the signature straps at the tongue and heel part. In the Mars Yard version, they used the orange straps but for this GPS version, they changed to blue color. For sure, someone will do a custom on the sneakers to follow the Mars Yard colorway, even coloring the Nike swoosh to orange. So just for fun, let's see how the straps looks like in orange. So what do you think? Is it orange or blue straps? And how about changing the color of the Nike swoosh to orange? Yeah, so what do you think? Orange or white? I know I don't have the sneakers to tell you if the materials feel high grade, but giving the benefit of the doubt, I believe coming from Nike and Tom Sachs collab, these sneakers will be durable and materials are high grade. As for the sizing, these are true to size. 
Nike is very faithful to their sizing, not like Yeezy where they keep changing the size of their sneakers. So if you use US 11 for Nike Dunk Low or Jordan 1 Low, stick to US 11 for this Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe. Go for true size. It comes in women's sizes. 5 to 14.5, 15.5 and 16.5, and men's sizes 3.5 to 13, 14, and 15. Just in case you missed the drop or got an L on the Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe, here are three sneakers that look like it, similar vibe and silhouette. First, we have the Nike Kill Shot 2 J Crew Sail Midnight Navy in 2017. The re release of the Nike Kill Shot 2 J Crew Sail Midnight Navy marked the return of one of Nike's most popular exclusives. Second, we have the Nike Waffle Racer 2x Monarch. Nike's Waffle Racer is a retro classic, but this 2x is modernized with an exaggerated construction. Scarlet suede panels wrap around the nylon upper to form the eye stays, while neon piping outlines the usual swoosh branding. Underfoot things are just out there with supersized lug rubber soles. And third, we have the Nike Waffle One Summit White featuring near transparent mesh upper lace up closure, Nike swoosh on lateral sides, heel clip provides a stable fit, the rubber waffle outer sole offers durability and great multi surface traction. So those are the three sneakers with a similar vibe of the Tom Sachs Nike General Purpose Shoe. Is it worth it? Is the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe worth it? Personally for me, to be honest, it looks simple for me. There are other sneakers with the same silhouette. However, since this is a collaboration with Nike and Tom Sachs, everything changes in impressions. There is a hype flowing in the air around these sneakers. You cannot deny the hype vibe around these sneakers. Sometimes, a simple design is a great design, especially if the quality and materials used on it. For sure, these sneakers will be sold out in minutes. Only the sneaker heads will know the value and hype on these sneakers, but for the eyes of a casual consumer, these sneakers just look ordinary. Nonetheless, these sneakers will have a great resale value in my opinion. However, it will not be the same resale price level as Mars Yard. Since this is the fourth release of Nike and Tom Sachs, the resale value won't be that super high but for sure it will be more than retail. In summary, go ahead to purchase these sneakers for personal and resale purposes. The date of the release will be on June 10, 2022 and it will drop on nikecraft.com. Coming from Nike and Tom Sachs, this is definitely fire sneakers with high quality and durable materials there will be a lot of consumers who will try to purchase these sneakers so you need to be quick on checking out and i wish you good luck i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below if you like this video make sure you smash that like button if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well before we end this video i just want to share my favorite quote for every negative there's a positive that's it guys stay alive and keep kicking i'm derek see you in the next video i'm out